Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I must confess at this juncture that the household names are uh, Virat Kohli, ML Thoni, and uh, yes, I'll stop at that for the time being. Uh, okay, there will be uh, many more uh, in the time to come. By, uh, in the time to come for sure, who, who are going to become the icons uh, in the field of sports in particular uh, cricket of 1983. I was wondering what corridors are all about. You know, which corridor I should start off with. You see, but basically it is very, very important. Uh, I must tell you, I must uh, tell you how I have come on to the stage today. And let me start off by uh, respecting the parents. It's very, very important. As a kid, my father was very discouraging. He was only grilling into my head. Study, study and study. Get a degree, get a government job. Apparently, he was a government employee, a lower division stenographer. In the uh, Mysore government, it was known as Mysore government then. Now it is uh, Karnataka. Not realizing what talent I had into me, neither did I know. So, but I was on the slide taking uh, part in the sports conducted uh, by the school. So on that count, uh, my first sport was athletics. I ran 100 meters, 200 meters, and relay for the school team state level. And I played all the house games. And uh, I excelled in the group into hockey, football, and cricket, of course. Not realizing where I was heading without any inhibitions. I was excelling, so I was noted by the uh, PT master so, and in the inter-school competition of athletics uh, at the Kantiriva Stadium in Bangalore, I ran a uh, relay for my school team. My father could not afford canvas shoes and my other uh, friends uh, from the affluent family, they had spikes and I ran without uh, barefooted, I ran. So from there on was my beginning, uh, my uh, performance into athletics, hockey, football and cricket came into limelight and nobody, the PT master was just with his whistle in his mouth, <whistles> this type of exercise, that's all. No proper uh, education on physical uh, exercises, etc. and etc. That's the way we were brought up. And there were no much of uh, facilities, amenities provided to us. And uh, so on that count, uh, I started coming into limelight, state school level. Uh, the media started publicizing my name. Obviously, it was all due to performance and I didn't know where I was heading, honestly. There was no guide, there was no coach. And just that sheer extra rush of uh, the spotting blood was flowing into me. Obviously, I had inherited uh, from my father. I represented the state schools, Karnataka State. It was called Mysore State then. And then went on with the South Zone schools and then eventually I was selected with the Indian schools team to play against the Australian schools for the first time they were touring India in 1965-66. I was hitting the headlines in all the three test matches which we played against the Australian schools and was eventually selected uh, to the Indian schools to tour abroad in 1967 to England and 
after coming back, I was uh, inducted into the Ranji Trophy team, obviously with my consistency in performance. And so, um, debut into Ranji Trophy 1968, I was doing my 10th standard and then State Bank of India offered me a job while I was still doing my 10th standard, not realizing. And my father was grilling, ke bhai, get a degree, get a government job, get a degree, government job. And I refused when the first attempt was made by the sports secretary of SBI. Uh, I said, no, I must get my degree. And then I look for the job, not realizing that the job was coming to the doors. Right. So on those basis, uh, second time he approached me and said, ke bhai, there are uh, evening college uh, facilities. You can do your uh, graduation if you want to. So I came and told my father, the state bank is offering me a job. So I called him. Then my father was not believing, sir. Huh? Came and told my father, okay, we are giving him a job, sir. Uh, SBI is recruiting sports persons, renowned sports persons who have got the talent to make it big, blah, 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 blah. Right. So on that count, uh, father said, okay, since you are... Uh, Giving him a job, yeah, take it, take it, take it. And the same year, he was also retiring from his service. So after that, my father stopped telling me to study. And I did my evening college, 9.30 to 2.30 in the bank. My father had a cycle. His father might have given him Phillips old, uh, met in England, Phillips. And uh, when he retired from his service, the cycle was kept at home. There was only one pedal. When I got the job, he said, well, congratulations, you have got a common job. Take my cycle. Looked at the cycle, only one pedal there. And I took that cycle, believe me, my first day into the office, State Bank of India, with one pedal, I cycled and looked around on the footpath. And cycle repair, puncher So I stopped at that guy and said, Yar, isko pedal hai to dalo yaar. He opened a junk looking uh, box, started searching for pedals. Found one pedal, luckily, and it fitted into that bike. Wow, I was so happy. Nevertheless, From the bank until I retired, I was with State Bank of India, very loyal. I retired as AGM from State Bank of India. Until 93, we were only uh, attending the bank, not working into the bank, attached to a particular department. And then whatever, if any individual wanted to learn, or know about what banking is all about, uh, would do it. Otherwise, you know, that privilege was given to us. Okay, well, you can come into the bank whenever you are not touring or whenever you are not playing. So on that count, uh, we were having those privileges and never were transferred from the bank. So that was my bank uh, career from uh, 1968 to Well, you got to excuse me, there are not many things uh, uh, stick into this uh, slippery, shiny head, you know. So, it's about uh, seven years since I have retired, so you know my age now. Sixty years is the retiring age, right? So, <laughs> I feel so young. I'm trying to see which are the corridors which I must be touching on the 1983, the PowerPoints and the uh, very important uh, matches which got us uh, into the finals and then it was history all together. Now when we left the shows of India, we were the fourth weakest team in the competition and along with us was Zimbabwe, Sri Lanka and East Africa I think. 
our we were in the group of the world champions who ruled uh, cricket for more than a decade the west indians the legendary players wow and the first match we played was of the tournament was against the world champions and we beat them comprehensively on that very first encounter the first victory of any tournament or of any match and a first attempt when you are successful that gives a boost into your system and a huge amount of push into your motivation and inspiration we were very happily uh, in the dressing room wow we have beaten each one of us talking to uh, within ourselves and saying hey we have beaten the world champions man in our very first encounter so one of the cricketers from the dressing room from the washroom hey we have beaten the world champion man bolke pukara what they so all of us woke up at that time and said hey we have beaten the world champion all of us uh, you know a chorus and from there we didn't look behind and it was a huge uh, compliment i would give kapil dev on this issue okay we were seven seniors to him in the team and he was made the captain and in our very first meeting before the uh, world cup could start he said uh, gentlemen man of few words and a man of action right throughout kapil dev he said I don't have to tell you seniors anything. You are the ones to guide me with all your experiences. That's a big thing for a captain to say. I must reiterate at this moment that anybody on power, with due respects, of course, there are quite a few uh, who don't uh, show ego. Ego. E G O. Coming back to. Uh, this is what kapil dev said and uh, we appreciated that we appreciated that and we knew our responsibilities and after we won that first match we all believed in our capabilities we all believed in our strength hey we have beaten the world champions now we cannot look back so we bottleneck the entire stronger opposition in their complacency complacency wow we are the world champion we are the best team in the world man i'm the fastest bowler in the world i'll wreck the entire team out i think that when it comes into you subconsciously for some it comes consciously for as a team it is subconscious and we bottleneck them by the time they could realize we had tightened the snooze into all the oppositions right coming on to the zimbabwe match okay now we batted first and normally uh, generally i don't get my uh, batting uh, because they didn't ever consider me as an all rounder until dhoni proved you see they never considered a wicket keeper as an all rounder right though i was uh, showing a little bit of consistency whenever whatever whatever it was so on that count uh, i was relaxed we were batting first and i was in my towel preparing myself for a lovely shower and a good breakfast with a toast in my uh, mouth munching away and from outside there was a call from one of my friends hey kiri bada bol ke pukara normally uh, guys keep pulling one another's leg I said I ignored that. Second shout was a little serious. Hey, क्या कर रहा है यार? पढ़ा अब कर यार. बोल के पुकारा कोई बाहर. तो मैं वैसी विंडो में से ऐसा स्कोरबोर्ड देखा तो 17 for five. 17 for five. My towel dropped. Believe me. I ran into the shower, uh, picking up the towel and the bread. In, the toast where it was where it fell i didn't know and the next moment i was walking inside and i was walking inside so on that count i went up to kabil and said dekho we are in a do or die situation caps so on that count uh, i played the first delivery i faced went past 
my nose. The second delivery went this way. One concave, one convex uh, ball was swinging like a boomerang. And the third one was a little short four. This would have got Kapil Dev's mind working. Ki yaar at this situation, and he has told me, ki hit every delivery. And he said he is going to give me um, five deliveries to play. And I did that. And from there on, it was history, ladies and gentlemen. It was history. We had a wonderful partnership. And there have been a lot of incidences, good incidences, very happy, very uh, fantastic uh, incidences, which we heard after 25 years from our own colleagues. And from there on, we didn't look back. And, uh, and what an honor it was uh, bringing the first ever World Cup to India. And that cannot be forgotten for sure. You know, this first World Cup victory. You see, it is like the first love cannot be forgotten, right? You guys are in love, I'm sure. Everybody gets in love at some stage or the other. Hmm? Let's accept certain facts. Isn't it? I'm a very practical kind of a guy. And uh, I don't hesitate in expressing certain things uh, a little now uh, to inspire you and motivate you also. So on those basis, uh, this victory cannot be forgotten until life for sure. So on that count, uh, that was the, uh, these are the corridors, the two important corridors I had to take you all uh, how we won the World Cup. It, it was very simple that we believed in our capabilities and we believed in our strength. And later on when we uh, went into the introspection, aspect of the entire World Cup, we realized that we were seven all-rounders into the Indian team, no other team had. This one-day cricket is nothing but more the all-rounders, the better the team, the better chances of winning. So it's, it's, it's a group, it's a teamwork, which we all contributed and that's how we won the World Cup and it is the very important factor of life in general, which I am conveying in another PowerPoint, how to progress. How do you progress in your day-to-day -day life? Is by when you go to bed every night, talk to yourself, analyze yourself. Kebai, was, did I have a good day? Question yourself. What did I do the whole day? Was it fruitful? Was it constructive? What did my teacher say? What did my professor say? Did I grasp that? Talk to yourself. And this is how you will progress. This is how you will improve upon yourselves on a day-to-day -day basis. This is the best way to progress. Introspect yourselves. So, this is where, you know, uh, you improve upon. And be creative. You've got these crayons and everything. All these uh, things, it is in front of you in a platter. 